accepting your partner for who they are. I know this can probably sound odd because you're probably thinking, well, I chose to be with this person, right. so of course I accept them. Well, it can be easier said than done. Let's talk about it. Now, today we got a kind of a weird one because when we talk about acceptance within a relationship, that is something that's not discussed too often because it's like, of course, I accept my partner, just like how right. I said in the intro. <laughs> yeah. So where does acceptance get lost? Where is acceptance eventually fade away? So it's very interesting that you brought up the point that sometimes it can get lost. Right. And I think the reason why that happens is because when you're dating someone, especially in the puppy love stage, and we've actually spoke about this in the previous video, but... So go check that video out after this one. Plug! Um, <laughs> <laughs> but in the puppy love stage, um, oftentimes you're so infatuated with the newness of it right. that sometimes little things that are a person's habit can get lost because you just can't see it you right. know you just can't see it so you're just like oh i accept you for who you are and i love you for everything that you bring to the table and more and it's like but then after six months or so P please don't ever use that voice ever again <laughs> now what i'm just saying you know but after the once that starts to wear off right and the puppy love stage has ended and now it's time to really dive deep if you want the relationship to progress a little bit further you may realize ooh a few things that I don't necessarily accept or I don't like. However, if you want longevity and you want it to thrive, you have to accept your partner for who they are. And that's just not any and every old thing, which we will talk about, but you do have to accept them for who they are when it comes to certain things. Okay, so for example, you all know that Shane and I have been together for a long time, but we both have quirks and little things that we do that sometimes can get under your person's under the, your partner's skin. But it's just like, I still accept you for who you are. You right. know, it's just what it is. Like Shane is more of a morning person than I am. I mean, you know, the saying the early bird gets the worm. He up before the bird. He up before the birds. I'm telling you. You, he will be up, uh, uh, literally, you, he will be up before the birds start chirping in the morning. <laughs> and for me, that is not my jam. Like, I will get up early, but not that early. And he's super productive early in the morning. He likes to move around and do all of these things. And then I'm just in the bed like, okay, I love him. <laughs> I love him. I accept him for who he is. This is him, you know. And, like, because I've grown to know and love and accept him, that's just something that I have to accept and to say it is what it is. You know what I mean? But of course, there are other aspects in a relationship that we're not saying you should accept. So what about you, babe? Is there something that I do that you have just learned to accept? Oh, um, <laughs> yeah. I mean, I, def I definitely can dive into this one. What I would say is you're a little bit indecisive and you okay. always got to get a second opinion. It, mm -hmm. That sometimes gets irritated because you're like, all right, so where you want to eat dinner tonight or whatever? And I'm like, all right, let's eat here. It's like, no, nah, I actually don't want to do that. And yeah, you decide <laughs> to do something else. You just got to learn to love and accept it sometimes. Right. And I think that's important, too, because a relationship is about adapting, too. And mm -hmm. sometimes people, well, not sometimes, people adapt. Yeah. Through the years, through the decades, through jobs, yeah. through you know, uh, life events that, uh -huh. that you have, people mm -hmm. adapt. And when people adapt, that means, yes, your partner has to adapt to that as well. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, so you individually and your partner, you guys are moving as a unit now. So you guys mm -hmm. both have to adapt to some of the change that might happen. Yeah. And that comes with acceptance because mm -hmm. accepting somebody that is evolving into maybe somebody else or evolving into a, a new space or mm -hmm. evolving into a new space. I think that's important for a relationship to be able to adapt to that and to mm -hmm. grow through that. Yeah. I think that's really important. So at the first sign of somebody not doing exactly what you would do in a situation. Doesn't necessarily doesn't, mean it's a deal breaker. Doesn't mean, mm -hmm. It shouldn't mean that it's a deal breaker. Yeah. Now, of course, like what she was saying, whether it's something extreme like uh, mental or physical abuse or mm -hmm. habitual mm -hmm. cheating and things like that, like mm -hmm. those things 
unacceptable straight off the bat. Like, yeah. But we're talking about little quirks. And the yeah. thing is, when it comes to people, me, you, and everybody else, we're all human. We all, yeah. we all have flaws. We all have different quirks to us and mm -hmm. things that our partner may not 100% agree with or be the same on. Mm -hmm. But it's about coming together as a unit and making sure that you guys are able to both accept each other and keep that acceptance because yeah. once acceptance is lost, sometimes yeah. that can be the deal breaker because yeah. now you no longer accept this person mm -hmm. and it's more so like, I kind of want to get out of this relationship Yeah, yeah. because you no longer accept. And I think that as long as you keep that in the forefront as you're growing in your relationship that there will be transitions in your relationship and with there being transitions in your relationship as it will be with your partner so you have to give your partner some grace at the same time as well now if it just if they go in a way that just doesn't completely align with like your morals and your values right. then that's also different as well because there are some things that i do think that you have to completely be on board with or it just may not work and right. it can be things such as religion it can be things such as you know children etc those aren't necessarily complete deal breakers but i'm just saying if that is for you then that is something to consider um but all in all i think that you were spot on with what you said and oh. that uh, uh -huh. oh I had, I had one other thing uh, when it comes to acceptance within a relationship sometimes the acceptance gets lost not even for something that has changed it's more so just people get out of that puppy love stage and mm -hmm. that that thrill of mm -hmm. the beginning stages of the relationship and they start to nitpick at, at things that were always there but now yeah. it's just like okay now i'm bored i want to get into the next relationship yeah that's really kind of not cool too like yeah. you know like you you don't want to go down that road because then you'll never 100 percent be happy with somebody that you want to build with long term mm -hmm. everything will always be short term if that's going to be your mind mindset yeah but you know that's just our thought yeah I mean, that's but, just our take on it you know it, it's acceptance like we said is, is huge and it works both ways it like works both one ways. person can't completely conform to what you want them to be and vice versa and i think with acceptance will also um, help there be balance in right. the relationship as well. And the one other point that I would bring up when it comes to acceptance um, for your partner is also it makes your it makes me and it makes you feel good when the other person does accept you. And I think that's important too. And you can just be yourself. When you can just be yourself. Mm -hmm. When you know that your partner accepts you for who you are, it makes the relationship a lot easier, a lot smoother and flow naturally. Mm -hmm. And I think that's important too, because if your partner is always badgering you or always getting on your case about something and you can tell or just that making you feel like the things that you like to do or your little quirks or, you know, um, characteristics aren't okay. Right. Then it's like, ah, uh, then you may feel like you, you're going to put a wall up or you can't truly be yourself because right. you're being judged. Right. Now, mm -hmm. I think it's healthy for you to have good conversation about mm -hmm. how you guys can move together in a mm -hmm. space to go forward. I yeah. think that's healthy. But when you're starting to get the feeling that your partner is always on your case about the things about your personality, your characteristics, or mm -hmm. some of the habits that you have that mm -hmm. you know are okay, but it's just something that they don't like then that can be a little bit stressful on the relationship too. Yeah. So. And, and, and it goes back to communication. So if there are some things, you know, it may be something that can be worked out, but you just have to communicate about right. it because if you just harbor it and not say anything, then it can bubble over and turn into something even bigger that wasn't right. probably even your intention to begin with, but it just snowballed into something uh, bigger. Exactly. So just communicate and the person may either be like, well, this is me. I'm sorry. You just got to learn to love it or be like, oh, snap. I didn't really know I did that. And now that I'm now that I realize I'm doing that, I may not even you know, that person may not even be cool with it and just be more mindful going right. forward and, and try to try to fix it and work on it. So. Right. So all in all, acceptance works both ways. So with that said, we really hope that you guys enjoyed the video today and got some value out of this conversation. Please know that there will be more talks like this to come. And with that said, we're going to sign off today. I'm Jen. And 
and I'm Shane. Enjoy the journey.